Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Java. Here in this lesson, we're going to continue working with the uh, math class in Java. And I want to make sure you understand that as we use a lot of the functions in math, there are some important numbers that are already built in as constants that you'll be uh, having occasion to use a lot. For instance, the number pi comes up all the time in math. And you learn in math class that that's 3.14. Well, really, when you um, learn a little more about math and what pi really means, you'll understand that Pi is a number that goes on forever and it never really stops. So it really goes way beyond 3.14, 1.59, and then it goes on and on and on to more and more decimal places. Well, if you have a program that requires the use of this number pi, it's kind of a pain to write this number, 3.14, 15926, whatever, um, and keep typing those numbers over and over again. I could assign a variable um, just to hold that pi value and then use the variable, but actually it's already given to us. So let me show you what that is. Uh, System.out.println. Okay, there is a built in constant always available to you for the number pi. So, as always, it's part of the math class. So, we rep, uh, reference it with capital M and, and then we do for math and then we do a period. And then you can actually see here that it's trying to tell us that there's pi, which is a double precision number. There's also e, uh, which is another con constant we'll talk about in a minute. And here, of course, the other functions that are a part or the other methods that are a part of the math class. So if you do capital PI, uh, notice it'll uh, italicize it for you and that lets you know that it recognizes it. So all we're going to do is print out the value of pi and you can see all the decimal points here. Of course the real value of pi goes on and on and on forever, millions and millions of decimal places, but for most calculations this will be perfectly fine to use. So instead of creating a variable and looking up in a book what a, what a good value of pi is, all you have to do is do capital math dot pi anywhere as a variable anywhere and it'll work just fine. Now as you study logarithms and other, uh, other advanced uh, topics in algebra and calculus, you'll know that the, uh, the uh, variable e or the constant e is very important as well. So in Java you reference that with math.e. So let me hit save and run that here. 2.71 is usually what I remember. But of course it goes on and on forever as well and so there's no reason for you to look that up in a book and type all those decimals in there because you have access to it. This uh, any calculation, any statement that has math.e like this is going to be perfectly valid. Um, so just as a quick example, what if I wanted to create a, sh a small table of values of multiples of pi, right? How would I do that? So there's a couple different ways. I can say, let me create a little loop here, right? And I can say for i is equal to 1, i is less than or equal to, let's say, 6, so we'll go to 6 pi, i plus plus. And let me go down here, open up the loop, hit enter, I'll have the closing loop variable. So inside of here I'm basically looping from i is equal to 1 up to 6. So there's a couple of different, there's a lot of different ways to do this, um, but probably one of the easiest ways is just to do a single uh, system.out.println statement like this. I could create variables, you know, I could assign values inside the variables, but what I could do is just create a simple table like this. I could do, um, I could say quotation mark, I would say um, I space times, let me do a space here, times pi equals, I'll do another space, and I'll do a plus over here, I will say I times math dot Pi. Make sure you understand what this statement is really doing here. Basically, I have the very the loop variable one in this case the first time, then it'll be two, and then three, and then four times pi is equal to, and then I just take uh, the same loop variable times the value of pi. So I'm just calculating one pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, and so on, and I'm outputting that each time. So if I hit uh, this guy here, one times pi is equal to three point one four, and so on. Two times pi is six point two eight, and so on. 6 times pi is equal to something around 18 because 6 times 3 is 18. It makes sense. Now this is cute. You can go to number 6. Of course this is a programming language so I can calculate a hundred different values if I like and that is not going to be hard to do at all. 100 times pi makes sense. That would be 314.159 because it's just times 100. And you can see all of the values here. So you can use these calculations here. You can use this reference as if it's just a number. I times that, you could do 
three times that, four times that, whatever. I can use variables and assign this as a value to a, a variable, uh, just like I can. Just be careful whenever you're using pi and e, those are double precision numbers, so you need to be using double variables when you're doing calculations if you're going to be storing the result in a variable. In this case, we're, we're not really storing the result, we're just printing it to the screen and going on through the loop another time. So that's how you handle it. If I want to uh, do it with e, I could say you know, e, and then I could go and change this one to e, and then I could hit save, and I can run, and I can see that 1 times e is this, 2 times e is this, 3 times e is this, and so on. So using your calculations make things a whole lot easier when you're using math in Java.